that whole issue with everybody saying that tree's got to be, that bar's got to be behind that shoulder blade and all that stuff, and you hear it a lot, but it's really a thing now that one tree maker really tried to push that on everybody. And I said, yes, I agree with some of that, but the way the horses are made and the way that their belly shapes under their front legs, sometimes that's back that far behind that front leg. Sometimes that's that far behind that front leg that your cinch is gonna to gravitate to that narrow spot. Right. Unless you're riding one that's built like a greyhound dog, that is where that cinch is going, to that spot. Right. And it don't make a difference what you do with that. With that. And so if you put a three quarter on there, your rigging sits back here, it's gonna to push to there. It's gonna push it ahead because it's wanting to ride to that narrow spot of that horse right there every time. That's why I say on today's horses, I would rather have a rigging further for, forward because of how horses are built today to fit that line, you know? And you see guys that, that saddle up their horse and they put that back there and then they run their laticals like this and you see, that's how it's supposed to fit. Riding about 20 steps in school, just like that. This guy will pull straight. It won't stay, it isn't gonna pull on their hand. How many times you pulled your sense down and then your laticals were sitting like this on it? They're, they're always stuck. They're right? always straight. Okay. The other thing is, is, I can understand that at some point, but also these trees on these bars, and this one's even more, they feather out a lot in the front. Right. So they can move a little bit through and forward, still not affect that shoulder because where I'm hitting is clear in here, right. not out here on the edge of that horse. Most of the and people it, smart off don't understand that. I don't. That's why I don't answer and I don't care. You know what? I just get too mad. About I had a lady right. one time come to me and said, I need a saddle made for this horse. You need to measure his back. And I said, I don't even know how. Honestly, at that point, I didn't know how. And I said, how old's your horse? Well, he's 16. I said, what if he dies tomorrow? <laughs> I said, are you wanting to put, at that time, five grand into a saddle on a horse that may die tomorrow? No. I said, then learn to pad. Go up on your pads, go down on your pads. Horses are all built different. You know, and that person thinks about one horse that they're riding. Gavin thinks about seven. You know, and you and you and he rides every day. So every day it's one of the things you gotta think about. I have got to pad every horse a little different to make it. Mostly today. Mostly today. When I was a kid, I rode, you know what we rode? We rode about maybe a three quarter felt, probably not, probably a half inch felt and a little Navajo on it. But you know how many horses we soared? Do you know what people ride today? An inch and a half worth of pad, and sometimes two. And their horses are sore enough, and I'm like, that's an issue that we're all having. And it's a big thing that we're talking about. And I tell everybody that throws that on there, I said, Take your shoe off right now, throw on another sock or another sock, and shove it in the same boot. If you want to see what it feels like to shove two inches underneath of a, a pad under a horse that doesn't need it. Because it's cushioned, there's way more pressure on it. Wherever that pressure is from the tree, that's more pressure. Well, more padding will fix it. No, that's more pressure. Because now I have more layers under there, it's tighter, it's pushing harder. You don't believe me, stick on three socks and stick them in your boots. You'll be crying in 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, you will if you grab a lot of them and sit them on tight, you know. And it's, so, there's, there's very few exceptions because I did own a horse that was 17 hands and probably weighed 900 pounds. He was all legs. This sucker could travel, you know. And, and his and freaking legs. weathers were that tall. I had to use two inches worth of pad on that horse so I didn't rub the top of his withers off. And they were that narrow. This horse was, I mean, he. Yeah, if I stood like this, I'd be standing on that horse. I didn't have to sit like it was, he was narrow, but that's one horse out of ten thousand. You know. Yeah, pretty the same if you have a half horse, you probably Yeah, exactly. You know, one, three then, quarter. Then he, you know what he did? He just wrote a cutout pad. Yeah. Actually, two. <laughs> yeah, two pads that were cut out. They used to, yeah. yeah. You know, like that.